Who is Timothy Chan? He is the founder professor in the Department of Computer Science at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. He graduated from Rice University at the age of 16 in 1992 and got his PhD three years later at UBC at the age of 19. So what is Timothy Chan's convex hull? Well, the problem it tries to solve is a convex hull trying to find the smallest enclosing polygon for a set of points on Euclidean plane that encompasses all the points in the set within the polygon, as well as using some of the points to define the outline. So how is Timothy Chan's algorithm different? Output sensitivity. What is output sensitivity? It means that the runtime is dependent on the output of the algorithm. Time complexity is O n log h, where n is a set of points, and h the amount of vertices in the hull. And how does it do this? By combining two other algorithms, specifically the Gram scan and Jarvis March. Both of these algorithms are also used to find convex hulls just in different ways. The Gram scan it uses a stack to detect and remove concavities in the boundary fairly efficiently. It has a time complexity of n log n. And with the Jarvis March, it is a type of gift wrapping algorithm. And it is also a output sensitive algorithm, but its time complexity is O n h, which relegates it to smaller sets of data. So how is it done? Well, first split the set of points into different partitions and apply the Gram scan onto each partition, then apply the Jarvis method on the computed partitions. After completing these two parts of the algorithm, we will eventually end up with our whole. The plus one. How does it compare to using the mini ball algorithm? While Timothy Chan's algorithm is fast, it is still slower than an enclosing ball whose time complexity is linear, O of n. We can also calculate the mini ball's area in constant time since it is a circle. That process is fairly trivial compared to finding the polygon's area, which must first be subdivided into triangles first and takes linear time. But the area of the ball is always larger than a hull, sometimes by a significant margin. Is there another way we can use the mini ball algorithm? We can, by subtracting the largest inscribing circle, we can lower the area enclosed by the mini ball. The largest inscribing circle is the biggest ball that will fit in our mini ball without excluding any points. This results in a donut or wash shape whose area is less than the mini ball. The area of this donut or aspect ratio is much closer to the hull's area, but by calculating this aspect ratio, our runtime increases to O n log n. In conclusion, Timothy Chan's convex hull has acceptable runtime and achieves the best result using the least area, but the mini ball has the best runtime, but it is the worst when it comes to the minimal area. And the mini ball inscribing co combo is the worst of both worlds, having the highest runtime that still doesn't have as good of an area.